In today's ClickUp tutorial, I will show you everything needed to know to successfully use ClickUp as a CRM for your business. Now, ClickUp actually originally started out by being a project management tool, but now they actually kind of brand themselves as the everything app for work, meaning that they already have some pretty strong CRM features built in, which I'm going to show you how to set up in today's video. To get started, head over to ClickUp.com, I will also leave you a link down below, by using that link you can support me for completely free. Either way, once you are right here, just click on get started, it's free, and then you will have to put in your work email. After that, put in your full name and choose a password. You will then have to go through some simple questions to basically customize your whole experience. Now actually, it doesn't really matter too much what you're going to take here either way. Let's just click on finish and now this is actually going to redirect us onto the ClickUp dashboard, which is going to look something like this. On the left, you are going to have all of the different kind of sections of your dashboard and under these sections, we are then going to see the spaces. Basically, in ClickUp, you are going to have spaces, projects and lists and basically the spaces are just going to be the broad overviews of all of the different projects. So for example, if you are a company, you could then have different kind of spaces for marketing, sales, and so on. In our case, we are actually going to create a new space by clicking on plus right here, and let's just name this CRM. We can then actually also use any of the templates, which you can see right here. Let's actually look for CRM. Now we are going to have some default templates for brand management, procurement, quick start sales and CRM, sales CRM, and the sales pipeline. So I will actually go for this sales CRM template right here, and I'm simply just going to use this template right now. So the space name is then going to be CRM, and we can then actually also select if we do want to import stuff from all other spaces onto this. In my case, as I haven't set up anything else, I'm just going to leave it at the default, and I'm now just going to use this template. All right, perfect. Now CRM space got created. As you can see, now we are going to have contacts, deals, accounts, as well as leads inside here. We can now, for example, open up the deals and now we are going to see everything in default. However, we aren't done yet. We will have to actually click on the plus sign right here and then click from template. And now I would recommend you to actually add the sales pipeline template. So just look for this and then you're going to have sales pipeline right here and make sure to just use this template and to basically then add it. Additionally, you are then also going to have some other templates right here in the template center. So we are going to have account management, account planning, all hands meetings, and so on. Either way, now that we have created our sales pipeline as well, we can actually get started. So right here on the sales pipeline, we are going to need this later on. Let's for now actually head out of this. Right here, click on leads. And this leads view essentially is going to be a general overview of people which you might actually going to work with in the future, but which aren't really qualified yet. Meaning that the main purpose for this leads view is basically to not clutter your context view with unnecessary context. So right here, we are then going to have the all leads view unqualified follow-up and we can then actually also see the board view. So actually the ClickUp dashboard is going to work the following. Right here you are then going to have basically your information. On the top right you can actually add a new task. You can customize this whole interface and you can actually also use these filters right here to then basically group them to basically see them in columns and you can right here set a filter to basically filter all of your information. Now, obviously, if you only have 10 leads, you don't really need to use this, but this is super useful to, for example, filter for high income clients, for clients with the priority urgent and so on. So let's now actually add a new lead. To do so, click on add task and now we will have to put in our lead name. I'm just going to put in Elon Musk and we will then have to also go through all of the custom fields right here, which are then going to be useful later on. Now as this is the lead, I'm first of all going to select the lead source. So in this case, I'm just going to select social media. However, we can actually also add and edit these options right here. So basically this is going to come down to your own business and I would recommend you to actually customize this. As this is going to be a lead, you most likely won't know all of the different things inside here. Make sure to just fill out the custom fields that you already know. Once again, leads aren't qualified yet. You aren't going to know the probability that this is going to convert and so on. 
down. I'm just going to create a new task right now. And now this is going to show up right here under new lead. So we can then actually drag this around to engaged. And basically we can then actually also click on it. And now this is going to give us the lead view right here. So right here, we are then going to see the general overview of all of the different stuff inside the lead. We can then see all of the subtasks, checklists and attachments connected to this lead. And we can then right here also change the status if we do want to. So in this case, I've now set this as qualified. And once the lead has been qualified, we will now have to actually add it onto the context section right here. And now this is going to be added. So in this case, there are going to be different custom fields uh, basically detected. I'm just going to do nothing. And now this should be added right here. Perfect. So now we can actually change the status as open and we can then actually also once again go over the custom fields right here. Now once you have someone in the context view, most likely they are going to be connected to a different kind of company. And that is what we can set up in the accounts view right here. So we can for example right here add a new company, let's just call this SpaceX. And right here we do have this company set as active. However, we can also simply just drag this onto prospect and now we aren't going to, basically you can just change this and you can just basically do this however you want. I'm just going to leave it at active. We can then go over all of the custom fields right here. We can add the account here, bidding cycle, and we can actually also customize this by adding other fields right here onto this. So if you do want to add labels, checkbox, p amount of people, and so on, you can actually do that by clicking on the plus sign right here. Either way, now we can head back to context. And now right here on the video mask, let's now actually click on plus right here and then select text. Now, actually, because ClickUp is a project management tool, we can't dynamically link the accounts to the contacts. However, in this case, I would still uh, recommend you to just name this account. And then right here, just create this. And now we can actually add the account name onto this. So this is going to be SpaceX. And this is also good for organizing purposes. So the only downside is that this isn't linked onto the um, basically accounts view right here, but you're going to know it. And this is still useful to keep track which contact is going to be for each account. Now, additionally, once we actually know that a certain contact has a deal going on, so once we know that probably we can actually make money off it, we will have to head over to deals right here, and then we will have to add a new task. In this case, I'm just going to name this SpaceX, Elon Musk, and then I'm going to name this um, Spaceship Redesign. Right here, we can then actually also show a lot of the custom fields and these we will actually have to update accordingly. This is important. So as for the item type, we can just select that this is going to be actually an account. And then as for the deal value, let's just say that this is going to be 100,000 US dollars. We can put in a discount, the industry as well as job title. And we can actually also set the probability right here. So let's just going to say that this is going to have a 70% probability to actually convert. And now we can create a new task. So right now we are on the all deals tab. We can then see our new deal right here. We can see the assignee, priority, due date, comments, as well as the sales stage and the actual discount. So let's just say that the sales stage is going to be um, discovery and we can then actually also change everything inside here. You are then also going to have a closed one section right here, which you can then access to see all of the one deals. And you can then actually also use this new deal form right here to basically create new deals. And this is, I guess, kind of a better way of doing it. I just like to either way use the task option right here. Either way, usually with sales pipelines, you aren't actually going to view this inside a list view, rather in what we call a Kanban view. And to actually get that, just click on view right here and then just look for Kanban. And then we can actually select this board view. And now we are going to have a more visual overview with different kind of stages. And we can then see these cards inside these stages. And when dragging this around, this is then automatically going to be updated. And we can actually also drag this to closed or on hold, for example. Now that's basically it. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And also, if you guys do want to sign up to ClickUp, make sure to do so with my link down below, which is going to support me for completely free. That's it. I will see you in the next one.